Have you ever wondered about things that exist only in Japan? Welcome to Everything Fives. In the next quarter of an hour, we will embark on a journey, uncovering 15 unique aspects of the land of the rising sun. From the hum of vending machines to the tranquility of tea ceremonies, from the speed of bullet trains to the serenity of cherry blossom viewing, we'll delve into the heart of Japan's unique culture and lifestyle. Join us as we count down from 15, exploring unique things found only in Japan. Number 15. Vending machines galore. Imagine having a world of convenience at your fingertips. Well, in Japan, that's the reality. Vending machines are everywhere, and they sell just about everything. From the expected beverages and snacks to the unexpected items like toys, fresh eggs, and even umbrellas. These vending machines are not just about convenience, they're a testament to Japan's ingenious commitment to efficiency and customer satisfaction. Each machine is a microcosm of the Japanese ethos, a blend of tradition and technology. The variety is astounding. Need a hot meal in the middle of the night? There's a vending machine for that. Want a quirky souvenir? Check out a gachapon machine. Fancy a fresh egg for breakfast? There's a vending machine for that too. These vending machines embody the spirit of Japan, the seamless fusion of the old and the new, the traditional and the modern. Who knew that a vending machine could offer more than just a quick snack? Number 14, Japan's love for cats. Now let's dive into one of Japan's most endearing fascinations, cats. They are not just pets in this part of the world, they're an integral part of the culture, a symbol of good fortune. Imagine walking into a cafe, not just for a cup of coffee, but for a unique experience. Welcome to Japan's cat cafes, where you can sip your favorite brew while enjoying the company of adorable felines. These spaces offer a calming respite from the hustle and bustle of city life as you lose yourself in the playful antics of these whiskered companions. Another testament to the nation's fondness for cats is the ubiquitous beckoning cat figure known as Maneki Neko. These charming figurines, often seen waving from shop windows, are believed to bring luck and prosperity. So, in the land of the rising sun, where ancient traditions and modern life harmoniously blend, cats hold a special place. In Japan, you're never far from a feline friend. Number 13, Capsule Hotels. If you've ever wondered what it's like to sleep in a futuristic pod, then you're in for a treat. Capsule hotels, a uniquely Japanese form of accommodation, offer just that. Born from a need for budget-friendly lodging in space-starved cities, these hotels are a testament to Japanese ingenuity. Imagine a room not much larger than a single bed, stacked like a honeycomb. Each capsule is equipped with the essentials for a good night's sleep. A light, an outlet, and sometimes even a small television. The capsules are designed for efficiency and privacy with a curtain or a fiberglass door for solitude. And don't worry, there are communal areas for you to stretch out and relax. These hotels may be compact, but they're mighty in terms of comfort and affordability. So when in Japan for a comfortable sleep in a compact space, capsule hotels are the way to go. Number 12. Food Artistry. In the land of the rising sun, food is not simply a necessity, it's a true form of art. Here the chefs are not just cooks, they are artists, crafting each dish with a meticulous attention to detail that is nothing short of spectacular. Take sushi, for instance. It's not just about the fresh fish and the perfect rice, it's about the presentation, the balance of colors and textures, the harmony between the ingredients. Then there's the bento box, a traditional Japanese lunchbox. But these are no ordinary lunchboxes. Each compartment is filled with a variety of dishes, each one more vibrant and tastefully arranged than the last. The result is a stunning edible mosaic that is as pleasing to the eye as it is to the palate. In Japan, you see, food is an experience, a journey for all the senses. In Japan, you don't just eat with your mouth, but with your eyes too. Number 11, unique festivals. Japan is a land of enchanting traditions, and this is best embodied in their array of unique festivals. Every season in Japan is marked with a splash of colour and joy brought to life by these festivals. Let's start with the Hadaka Matsuri, or the Naked Festival, where thousands of men don nothing more than a loincloth and brave the winter chill. Then comes the Eiyue Odori, the Dance Festival, where the streets come alive with music and dance in the heart of summer. 
But it's not just about the seasons. Some festivals are a nod to the country's rich folklore. Take the Namahage festival, where locals don demon-like masks to ward off evil spirits. Whether it's a grand display of fireworks at the Hanabi festival or the serene lantern floating of Toru Nagashi, each festival tells a unique story. Festivals in Japan are a true feast for the senses. Number 10, high-tech toilets. When it comes to blending technology with daily life, Japan takes the lead like no other. A prime example is their high-tech toilets. These are not just porcelain thrones, they are marvels of modern engineering. Imagine stepping into a restroom and being greeted by a toilet seat that lifts automatically. A sense of warmth embraces you as you discover the seat is heated. The control panel on the side is not there just for show. It offers a multitude of options like bidet wash, deodorizer, and even a music player to mask any, well, embarrassing sounds. Some models go a step further, offering health monitoring features such as measuring blood pressure or body fat. And let's not forget about the eco-friendly aspect. These toilets use less water, making them a sustainable choice. In Japan, even a visit to the restroom is an experience in itself. Number 9. Kawaii Culture Let's dive into the world of irresistible cuteness, a phenomenon that has not only swept across Japan, but also the globe. Kawaii, which translates to cute or adorable, is more than just an aesthetic. It's a cultural pillar that deeply resonates with the Japanese psyche. This culture of cuteness permeates every aspect of Japanese society. From the fashion industry where adults don pastel colors and oversized bows, to advertising where even the most serious of corporations employ cute mascots to sell their products. It's a celebration of innocence and whimsy that defies age and societal norms. Kawaii culture even influences language, with people often using a high-pitched, childlike voice to seem more endearing. It's a fascinating aspect of Japanese society that continues to evolve, influence and captivate. So when you see a crowd of adults cooing over a cutesy character or a Hello Kitty themed construction barrier, remember in Japan, cuteness isn't just a trend, it's a way of life. Number eight, onsen etiquette. An integral part of Japanese culture, the onsen or hot spring, is more than just a simple dip in a hot tub. It's a time-honored tradition steeped in respect and tranquility. Before entering an onsen, one must thoroughly cleanse oneself in a separate washing area. It's not just about physical cleanliness, but also a symbolic purification. Remember, no swimsuits are allowed, and it's customary to enter the water naked. However, you can use a small towel for modesty, but make sure it doesn't touch the water. The water is shared and must remain pure for all to enjoy. Once in the onsen, soak quietly, relishing the serenity of the moment. It's a time for introspection, not loud conversation. And finally, don't forget to rinse off after your bath. Onsen bathing is a relaxing and respectful tradition in Japan. It's an experience that truly immerses you in the heart of Japanese culture. Number seven, forest bathing. Let's journey into the heart of Japan's lush woodlands to discover the enchanting practice of Shinrin-yoku, or forest bathing. This isn't your typical nature walk. It's a mindfully immersive experience, a form of nature therapy that's distinctly Japanese. The concept is simple, yet profoundly transformative. You're not simply walking through a forest, but immersing yourself in it, soaking up the atmosphere through all your senses, you're bathing in the forest's essence, hence the term forest bathing. The Japanese believe that this intimate connection with nature offers a wealth of benefits. It's said to reduce stress, boost mood and enhance overall well-being. It's a testament to the Japanese approach to life, where the natural world isn't seen as separate, but intrinsically connected to our human existence. In Japan, nature isn't just to be admired, it's to be experienced. Number six. Bullet trains. Japan's bullet trains, or Shinkansen as they're known locally, are a marvel of engineering that stand as a testimony to the nation's technological prowess. Punctual to the second, these trains zip across the country at speeds of up to 300 kilometers per hour. Now, that's faster than a falcon in flight. Not only are they swift, but they're also efficient. Despite their lightning speed, they maintain a near-perfect safety record with zero passenger fatalities since their inception in the 1960s. 
The Shinkansen network connects distant corners of Japan, making what would be a lengthy journey a short, comfortable ride. The interior of these trains is as impressive as their speed, offering spacious seating, spotless cleanliness, and breathtaking views of the Japanese countryside whizzing by. Indeed, the Shinkansen are more than just a mode of transport. They're an embodiment of the Japanese spirit of harmony between technology and daily life. Traveling in Japan is as fast as a bullet. Number five, karaoke boxes. Picture this, a bustling cityscape under the glow of neon lights and tucked in every corner are music-filled sanctuaries known as karaoke boxes. A phenomenon uniquely Japanese, these private singing rooms have transformed the way people entertain themselves. It's not just a pastime, but a cultural staple, a testament to the Japanese ethos of harmony and unity. These karaoke boxes are more than just a place to belt out your favorite tunes. They're intimate spaces where groups of friends, families, and even business associates can gather to unwind, share laughs, and create unforgettable memories. From the latest pop hits to timeless classics, the song selection is vast, catering to every musical taste. And the best part, it's not about being the best singer. It's about having fun, letting loose, and expressing yourself through song. So, whether you're a seasoned vocalist or a bathroom singer, remember, in Japan, everyone can be a star in their own box. Number four, tea ceremonies. Here we delve into one of Japan's most revered traditions, the tea ceremony. It's a beautiful, intricate practice steeped in history, spirituality, and the art of hospitality. The Japanese tea ceremony known as Chado, or the way of tea, is a choreographed ritual of preparing and serving matcha, a powdered green tea. It's not just about drinking tea, but about aesthetics, respect, and tranquility. Each gesture is carefully considered, each movement a dance of grace and precision. This ceremony is a reflection of the principles of harmony, respect, purity and tranquility. It's a meditative practice that brings people together, fostering a sense of community and mutual understanding. The tea ceremony is a window into the Japanese culture's deep appreciation for simplicity, humility and the fleeting beauty of the moment. So when you're invited to a tea ceremony, remember it's not just about sipping tea. It's about immersing oneself in a cultural experience that transcends the ordinary. In Japan, a cup of tea is more than a beverage, it's an experience. Number three, cherry blossom viewing. Picture this, an explosion of delicate pink petals against a clear sky, a sight that stirs the soul and warms the heart. Welcome to the world of Hanami, the traditional Japanese custom of viewing and appreciating the beauty of cherry blossoms, or sakura. This is more than just a visual spectacle. It's a cultural phenomenon deeply rooted in the Japanese ethos. A time for reflection and renewal, a dance with nature's fleeting beauty. Families, friends and colleagues gather under the sakura trees, sharing food, laughter and stories, creating memories under the ephemeral canopy of pink. The cherry blossom season is brief, mirroring the transient nature of life, a reminder to cherish each moment. Poetry is written, songs are sung, and hearts are touched. In Japan, the arrival of spring is a celebration painted in shades of pink. Number two, geisha culture. As we journey through the fascinating facets of Japan, we cannot overlook the iconic geisha culture. This ancient tradition, dating back to the 18th century, remains a significant aspect of Japanese history and culture. Geishas, or art persons as the term translates, are highly skilled entertainers trained in various Japanese arts. They're not merely women of beauty, but also women of talent, intellect and grace. They're the guardians of centuries-old practices such as tea ceremonies, classical music, dance and the intricate art of conversation. The geisha's role is to create a world of enchantment and elegance, a sanctuary away from the everyday wherein they weave tales of the past and present through their performances. Their refined manners, exquisite kimonos, and delicate movements are a testament to their dedication and discipline. In Japan, the geisha is a symbol of grace and tradition. And finally, number one, Mount Fuji. This isn't just a mountain, it's a symbol, a beacon of Japan's natural beauty and cultural heritage. Mount Fuji is not only the country's highest peak, but also a sacred site that has inspired poets, artists and pilgrims for centuries. For many, a pilgrimage to this majestic mountain is a rite of passage, a journey that resonates with spiritual significance. 
Its symmetrical slopes have become a classic representation of Japan, its presence felt in everything from traditional woodblock prints to modern logos. Mount Fuji's influence is pervasive in Japanese culture, its image embedded deeply in the national consciousness. It's a place of serene beauty, a testament to the power of nature and the resilience of the human spirit. It's a reminder of our place in the world, a symbol of the harmony between humans and nature. Mount Fuji, a breathtaking symbol of Japan's natural beauty and cultural heritage. So there you have it, 15 things that exist only in Japan. We've journeyed through the vibrant vending machines, admired the adorable love for cats, marveled at the innovation of capsule hotels, and savoured the artistry of Japanese cuisine. We've danced at unique festivals, experienced the high-tech toilets, embraced the kawaii culture, respected the onsen etiquette, and basked in the tranquility of forest bathing. We've sped on bullet trains, sung in karaoke boxes, cherished tea ceremonies, viewed cherry blossoms, and peeked into the geisha culture. From Mount Fuji to vending machines, Japan never ceases to amaze and inspire. Until next time, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel, and keep exploring.